ma tata va de lo besa vi mi mamá y yo estaba la fo nadie va a fo con se endesa vi cuarto nada nadie la tu a combo capuscuro no banchi a cuscuro nada nadie shiva mona Mbafia neka chila kushiku. Uku pianga, uku tapa menshi, no kuipika. Elio ba mayo senge valiku mabala. In Zambia, education is free at primary school level. But when um, students pass grade 7, to go into grade 8, there are fees that are involved. The parents have a difficult choice of trying to pay for both boys and girls, but the preference really when you have um, less resources is for them to pay for boys. My dad and mom never used to have enough money to pay for my school fees. Yeah, so sometimes I would stay out of classes for maybe a week or a month. I'll be just at home. Yeah. There are many girls that drop out of the school system. They go into early marriages. Traditionally, the belief is that the boy, once educated, they will get into a job or get into some business and then support the girls. The main objective is to ensure that girls are kept in school no matter what challenges they're encountering. The absolute best thing about the bursary is that they've brought me into a boarding school and that I have loved it. After school, when I reached the boarding house, I changed my uniform, draw some water to wash my uniforms. There are a lot of activities that go on in a boarding school. We go drama clubs, debate clubs, jet clubs. We start making all sorts of activities to present to our fellow friends. If there's no activities going on, I just get my book, make some groups with my friends. It has kept me busy in a boarding because I'm there studying, asking my friends on how to go about things that I don't know. Then 2030, after done with prep, I go to sleep, then zero three hours, wake up again, start studying, passing through the things that I used to study last night. Then after that, I go to bath preparing for the morning session. I fell pregnant in 2003, that was when I was in grade 11 and 20 years old. I thought of stopping going to school because I was scared that my friends would be laughing at me, I wouldn't be concentrating. Once a girl fell pregnant, that was the end of their schooling. It was like a death sentence to them. Now with the re-entry policy, the girls, they have a, a chance to come back and continue in school. I went back to school and I sat for grade 12 exams. I, when results came out, I did well. In most cases, they are the first generation of uh, students from their own families to get into college. So it is changing the, um, the paradigm of just the levels of education that these girls are attaining. It's so amazing that I managed to get my degree. Now I am a teacher. I'm working and my husband is working, so we are able to meet our daily needs to provide for our children to pay for their school fees. It is important to give back to the community because I wouldn't want to see a young women going through what I went through. I would want them to get empowered. My life has changed because I started going to school every day, every day, every day. My journey in education is going to be a very, very long journey. I'm so excited about the future and I don't dream big about myself. As we engage with the communities, they're slowly realizing that it's important to educate girls. They've seen these girls come out of the poverty-stricken uh, environment and get into well-paying jobs and slowly the trend is changing.